Welcome back to uh, Driver's Masterclass. Today I'm going to show you how to use math in the scripted expression. So I'm going to grab this light. I'm going to hold shift and select on the camera. I'm going to go to object and click delete. I'm going to take this cube and I'm just going to move it over. And I'm going to rename it driver. Now I'm going to add an object. I'm going to add a sphere. I'm going to move it over and I'm going to rename it driver underscore two. I'm going to add one more object. I'm going to add a mesh and I'm going to add a cylinder. I'm just going to rename the cylinder driven. So I'm going to hit N to open up my properties panel here and I'm going to right click on the X rotation and I'm going to click add driver. It's going to bring up this panel here and I'm just going to move my mouse outside of it and it'll disappear. I don't want to use that panel just yet. I want to expand the timeline down here at the bottom. I'm going to change my editor type to drivers. So in here, I'm just going to hit N. I'm going to expand this right hand panel here. And on the left hand side, I'm going to select X Euler rotation. That's going to bring up these options here. I'm going to go to drivers. Under expression, I'm just going to type in var. And under add input variables for object, I'm going to choose driver. This is very similar to the last video of how I set up a very simple driver. And essentially what this is, is now on the X location world space, this cube here, if I move it on the X, is going to drive the rotation of that cylinder. But there's more you can do in this expression editor. If I do var times 10, now, when I move that cube just a little bit, I'm going to get a lot more rotation out of that cylinder. I can also do var subtract 10. And that'll give the cylinder an initial offset without the var being activated at all, without the x location being activated. There's even more I can do with this. I can even add var times 10, and I can put it in brackets. And then I can subtract 100. So now when I move this on the X location, I'm getting a lot more rotation. So any bed mass uh, equation you can think of, you can add here. Now I'm going to add one more thing just to show you what else you can do with this is you can actually have another variable and you can do math between them. So if I add input variable, now I can scroll down and I have a new variable option down here. Now you'll notice one difference is that this has this little DNA icon right here and this has this X icon right here. If you click that drop down, you have four options for your variable type. You have a single property, a transform channel, a rotational difference, and a distance. Today we're just going to deal with the transform channel and I'll get into the other three uh, in future videos. So click on transform channel. For the object, I'm going to click on driver two and I'm gonna leave it at X location world space. So in my expression, I'm gonna type uh, addition var underscore zero, zero, one. So now I have two variable inputs driving the cylinder. So if I move this sphere, it's gonna rotate that cylinder. And if I move the cube, it's gonna rotate the cylinder. So fairly easy setup. Um, you can do more math with this. So same thing with actual numbers, I can multiply these and I can add another number in here, so I can do plus 1,000. So tons of freedom we have here with you can add mathematical equations into that expression. Anyway, so that's how you add math to your expressions. In part three, I'm going to show you how to drive an object with a property. Bye-bye.